San Francisco is rich with independent bookstores. In a city less than 47 square miles, with less than a million people, we have 45 independent bookstores. I could have gone to all of them, and I probably will someday, but if I did that, we'd be here for hours. But I wanted to share a few of my favorites, and to help plan your visit, I'm pairing them with a nice little spot nearby to get a little drink and have a little seat while you enjoy your new books. Our first stop is City Lights. City Lights is not only an independent bookstore, it is also a small press and a nonprofit that publishes information about San Francisco. It was founded in 1953, and if you've ever seen Howl by Allen Ginsberg, you have these folks to thank. And it's now not only a bookstore, but also a historic landmark. As you can see, they stock all kinds of books, fiction, nonfiction, memoirs, philosophy, sociology, all sorts of stuff. The store is two floors with a sign to let you know that there are more books downstairs. And once you find your book, you should head next door to Vesuvio Cafe to get a drink. This bar is famous for being the watering hole of many famous beat writers. Now it's just a great place to go get a drink. The staff are chill, the music's good, the ambiance is very relaxed. It's just a good time. In my opinion, the best seat in the house is on the upper floor by this window. It's great people watching when you need to rest your eyes. And a great place to get a little writing done, should you feel inspired. So if you find yourself in Chinatown or North Beach, head on over to City Lights and then next door to Vesuvio for a drink. Our next stop is Booksmith in Haight-Ashbury. Haight-Ashbury is a super popular tourist destination here in San Francisco and a lot of the stores are really catered to the summer of love vibe that made it popular, but there are also a lot of stores that cater not only to tourists, but also to locals. It first opened in 1967, and then it moved once in the 80s, and then once again in 2021, but always on Hate Street. This store is one floor and it's packed with books, some shelves going all the way up to the ceiling. And not only has books, but also some tchotchkes and souvenirs, a lot of them relating to California or San Francisco specifically. Booksmith also hosts many events, the most notable of which, in my opinion, was Shipwreck, which was touted as the premier literary erotic fan fiction event in the city. Sadly, it's not running any longer, but I do look forward to when it returns. Once you pick up your book, you can head a couple blocks down the street to 1428 Haight Street. That's the address, but it's also the name of this cafe and crepery. They have a really nice indoor space, but they also have a nice back patio. It's covered and heated, so it'll be accessible during most any kind of weather. And they serve coffee, tea, sandwiches, crepes, nice little menu. And it's just a wonderful place to go sit with a cup of coffee and read your book. Even if you don't stop by the booksmith, which I think you should, it's just a nice place to get a break while you're walking around Haight-Ashbury. Though it's always better with a book. And our last stop is Green Apple Books in the Richmond. Mm -hmm. 
technically there are two locations for Green Apple Books, but I went on a Sunday and Clement Street has a farmer's market on Sunday, so I chose the one on Clement Street. Where the other two bookstores in this list sold only new books, this one sells also used books, as well as music. It opened in 1967, and in 1996, it acquired its neighbor, Revolver Records, and so now it has a little vinyl section along with all the books. And just like City Lights, this one also has a second floor this time, Upstairs. I don't know about you all, but I love these older buildings with their creaky little staircases and their nooks and crannies. Just feels like the kind of place you can get lost among the stacks. I feel like I could curl up in some hidden corner and nobody would find me for hours. But instead of curling up in the bookstore with your book, better to head on down the street to Blue Danube. Blue Danube is a cafe that prides itself on using local ingredients from merchants that are in the Richmond district. Now the Richmond district, you may not have heard of it if you're not from San Francisco. It's kind of more of a locals area. It's not really a touristy spot, but if you're in Golden Gate Park, maybe walk a few blocks north and check it out. They serve coffee, tea, juices, smoothies, salads, and they also serve this beautiful apple and brie platter that I got. It's a great place to sit, get an Italian soda, read your new book, and just like at Vesuvio Cafe, also do a little bit of people watching. So like I said, there are just so many great local independent bookstores in San Francisco. It can be tough to pick your favorites. And maybe now you want to go visit one of these, pick up a new favorite book, and uh, have a lazy afternoon in the city. And you know what? If you need any other recommendations of what to see or do in San Francisco, just leave a comment. I'm wanting to explore more of the city and share it. And so I'm going to be checking out other neighborhoods and giving little guides. So if there's any neighborhood in particular that interests you, let me know. As always, thank you so much to my patrons. I hope you are all having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.